At Stockton's downtown plaza, people are using lunchtime to take advantage of free pop-up COVID-19 testing. But I'm going to keep coming to work and keep doing my job. So I just get this is my fourth time being tested. Yeah, I stay away from other people and, and, you know, I keep a mask on all the time. In San Joaquin County, daily case numbers are the highest they've ever been. What are largely these cases being attributed to? So, you know, a lot of the cases are a community, represent community um, spread. And community transmission classically means that people just don't know. It's just out there. So COVID is really um, having high transmission rates right now. And a more, majority of people, when we contact trace, don't exactly know where they picked it up. So that's actually number one. San Joaquin County is reporting all seven hospitals are operating at or above 100% of licensed bed capacity. Yeah, it is kind of scary because if, if I have to go to the hospital, then, you know, they're not going to take me in there and stuff. Someone gets in a car accident or has a heart attack or is a severe COVID-19 patient and they need an ICU bed, where do they go? Well, we don't want anyone to hesitate to go to their local um, nearest emergency department. Our ICUs know how to shift patients around. We have um, regional, um, a lot of agreements, a lot of partnerships, and we, we can make the room. Um, we also have, at the state level, um, access to the sleep train arena, the alternate care site, so that we can offset some of our patient load in ways that make sense. What are you most concerned about so there still are some unknowns in the final weeks as cases continue to rise. You know, I know, I know it's so hard to say that we're back at a stay home order, but what concerns me right now is that people aren't taking it seriously this time around the way we did back in March. And so I am worried that after the end of the year, we're looking at a January that might be even worse than our December. Vicki Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News.